Sanitation trucks are being brought here for the uh, cleanup effort, as they call it. Broadway, there is pretty there intense. Is, well, shit gets to that there, then the other has to yeah, I mean, this is it's much different on Broadway because you got a lot of chanting crowds, and I've seen. I, I I heard I heard police clubs cracking on Broadway. Church and uh Oh, 
blue. Who's this? Yeah. Um, I went to Church Street. You can get a little closer in on Church. Where are you now? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but you can get a little closer on church. Worship them like gods. Become gods now. Gods. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, catch you later. Exactly, but you could see that it's well, yeah, I know. so very well trained. Yeah, well, they were organizing it for Alan Broadway. They were dancing yeah. it, but there's all playing the bands. Yeah. <laughs> 
times, but on the other side of the park. So, NYCLU is taking a look at things? Yep. Yeah, I'm with NLG, yeah. Okay. I didn't have time to put my cap on. Oh my Came God. right over here. Well, Actually, there's still a fair number of you guys. No, I saw a couple after I put in some calls. I saw, you know, some, some caps and, and so forth. But what they're doing is they're taking everybody and pushing them away so you can't see the dirty work. Do you know what this is? Is this a sanitation issue or a fire well, hazard no, issue? No, what, what it is is they're clearing out the park. The park. And no, I know, but is, like with the pretext. The, the pretext is that they need to sanitize and they have a whole bunch of um, sanitation trucks as well and sanitation crews. So there's, there's about a thousand cops uh, accompanying like you know 40 guys in sanitation. So figure that one out. Yeah, no I know. I just want to make sure because I, I, there are numerous reasons why they could potentially say that they have a reason to do this. But I just wondered what this particular one was. Well they're clear, clear in the park. Hey, look what they got there. And then whoever's left is going to be locked up. Whoever hasn't left by now, so they get ready to do dirty work. And How many people work. are still in there? I heard there's over a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, that are not leaving on their own. And so they got the paddy wagons ready. They want, they want to, you know, they get them ready. The doors open, and they're going to start to arrest the people and throw them right in the paddy wagons. That truck's already filled. Which one? Um, the one parked on the on the corner. There's at least, I mean, definitely ten, probably more than that. Oh yeah, well, and yeah, but it's not just. It's also people who weren't even in the park. It was just you know blocking the sidewalk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, so I, I, I heard some. Bike up the street and yeah, I, I I heard some Billy Club crap. Some, uh, yeah. Yeah. Are doing I've seen some, some oak applications for I've heard reports of things. Some what? Oh, some, yeah, some, yeah, some, yeah, I mean, I saw them spray names too, yeah, pepper spray, whatever it is, yeah. You saw pepper spray? Well, I don't, no, no, I, I know, people were sprayed, I don't know whether it's mace or pepper spray, whether they were sprayed or something. Uh, and, uh, you know, a couple, Are you an attorney? Yeah. Okay. Uh, voiceless. Yeah, I'm in the mass defense. What's your name? Lou. I should have a heart to see how horrible it is. You're in the legal working group? I'm in the, um, no, I'm with National Lawyers Guild, Mass Defense Committee. What? Okay. Is there a lot of you guys that will be the most you're as well? Unless you're that one person. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think I'm on the legal working groups, uh, you know, email list, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I haven't really been involved in it. Again, there are helicopters. <laughs> Look at our roof. <laughs> yep, another helicopter up there. Making sure people. Well, no, I think they're looking for people like trying to walk through like side doors. <laughs> Doing this, yeah, they're like, no, because over there, there were people saying, like, no, they, we need to move now, or you're gonna arrest Yeah, they were like, yeah, they were they were doing some stuff like that, but yeah, moving in quickly, and you know, depending, you know. Mayor Bloomberg bought election after election and now tells you to raid people who have no money, no jobs, whose homes are being foreclosed upon, and you mindlessly follow those orders, shove people to the sidewalk, and then shove them back further. Why? You think people would fire you if you said no? You'd be a hero. Stand up. I love your brothers in Afghanistan. Show courage. Okay. This could be your moment too. This doesn't have to be just ours. Join us. Stand with what's right. Take this opportunity to say we know the protesters have a point. It, 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 don't worry. When it gets time for them to collect their pensions, it'll be no. Uh, they're human beings. There'll, there'll be no money. Look at that person. Look at Officer Alexander. That is a human being who wants more than a pension. He joined the police force because he wanted to do good, and now he's doing this, and he feels bad. That is guilt and remorse and conscience in his face. That is coldness and cruelty, and you can see the difference. Yeah. 
Well, all these guys, they'll put in their 20 years, and then in the end, they'll be told the city went bankrupt no, and they're not what? getting their pension. No, that's true. They're getting fucked, yeah. that's for yeah, sure. They're, they're in the same boat as 100% un-American. All of you guys. You guys can do something about this. You guys can help. But this country is not based on You guys can help. You can join us. You can say enough. You can stand with us. C'est évidemment répandu comme une traînée de poudre dans tout Manhattan et des milliers de...